guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming in the beautiful French Alps. I will show you right now the view I'm looking at. It is beautiful! So we're currently here on a skiing holiday and the guys are currently on the slopes. I've done for the week because Skiing is not for me, <laughs> um, but so I'm heading into town to do a little bit of exploring and sightseeing on my own. So I thought, what better chance to get to film a video? So I've done um, just an everyday look. This is kind of my everyday go-to glam look, where I want to feel a little bit more done up, but not over the top. So this is perfect for work. I mean, I haven't got any lashes on. I've just got tons of mascara. I have used the In Extreme Dimension mascara, and um, it's amazing, especially if you don't want to wear lashes because it gives them so much length and volume so yeah I just created this soft brown look like I say it's really wearable um, and also I've done my skin that's going to be suitable for harsh weathers so if you're looking for something for maybe a ski holiday or just a winter holiday or something that's just gonna last all day then this is definitely the place for you so if you'd like to see how to create this look then please keep watching okay guys so to start off with I'm gonna work on my base I'm using the Chanel illuminating base and I'm just gonna blend this all over my skin using my beauty blender I'm really gonna push this into the skin I'm then gonna go in with the L'Oreal color rich eye primer base so I'm just gonna draw this all over my lid right into the inner corner and blend out with my beauty blender this is gonna work really well as a base for all our eyeshadows to stick to So to set all that I'm going to use MAC Shaping Powder in Accentuate and I'm just going to use a large blusher brush and just pat this all over my lid. This is going to stop our eyeshadows from going patchy. Now for eyeshadows we're going to start with two colours through our transitional um, shades for our crease and this is going to be Peach Smoother which is the first colour that I'm applying here. I'm using a really big fluffy brush and we're going to blend this all the way up to our brows and under our lower lashes. And next right now I'm going in with Quarry by MAC doing the exact same thing just to warm it up slightly. We're going through the crease, blend it up towards the brows and under the lower lashes. Next eyeshadow we're going to use is Bobbi Brown's Camel. This is one of my favourite eyeshadows ever and this is going to go just through the crease. We're not going to smoke this out as much because we want this depth to just be in the crease. So we're going backwards and forwards in the outer corner and then blending it right into the inner corner and just going backwards and forwards until it's properly smoked out. Now don't worry if this starts to look a little bit crazy. Smoky eyes, when I do smoky eyes I always make a total mess and then clean them up afterwards. So just keep blending, keep blowing it out and making it look super smoky. Okay, this eyeshadow is Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear and I'm going in with a slightly smaller brush this time and I'm focusing this on the outer V, so placing it right in the outer corner and carefully blend it in. I then always like to go back to my original fluffy brush and blend the edges. So you're applying the colour and then blending it through. This is going to give you a really seamless, soft, smoky eye. For our last colour on our lids, I'm going to use, this is just actually an eyeshadow, um, an eyebrow powder by I think it's highbrow but it's super dark brown so I'm applying this just on the outer edge and then blending it in carefully just so it all blends in into one colour and we don't have any harsh lines We're now going to highlight the inner corner of our eyes and slightly onto the lid using um, Vanilla Eyeshadow by MAC. I'm using quite a large flat brush for this because I want it to be soft, I don't want it to be stark white there, just like a soft glow and highlight on that inner corner. And I'm also going to use a small pencil brush for this and apply it under my brows. To finish off the eyes, I'm using this really nice light sparkly pink eyeshadow. This is just from a MAC palette and I'm going over that vanilla eyeshadow that we placed. I'm using a small brush for this so I can be really detailed and I'm focusing it mainly on the tear duct area. I'm then using that brow powder and pulling it underneath my lower lashes just to smoke them out slightly. I'm using an angled brush for this. So right now I have already applied my Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation in the shade number 4. And I'm now going in with the Maybelline Dream Bronze BB Cream. This is amazing. I'm kind of using this as, as a um, replacement for my Chanel Bronze Universal. I do use that but because I use it every day I feel like it's 
far too expensive to use every day so I've opted for this one I apply it in the exact same way so just blending it where you would normally apply your bronzer because it is liquid I always like to pat over it with my beauty blender just to make sure there's no harsh lines so now I'm going to highlight my skin using the Urban Decay Naked Concealer in Fair Neutral I'm just doing the usual V shape under my eyes and pushing that in with my beauty blender really work it into your skin to make sure it's going to last all day I then always like to go in with a small fluffy brush and just blend the edges and make sure it's not sitting in any creases around my nose so now I'm going to bake the under eyes, I'm just using a Clinique powder, this is discontinued, I think it's really old, um, but any translucent powder will work and I'm just going to apply a generous amount under my eyes and leave it to sit there while I finish the rest of my skin. So I'm using my super big Tom Ford fluffy brush, this is my favourite brush in the whole world and I'm using terracotta bronzing powder in 03 by Galan. I'm using this just straight over where we applied the BB cream so down the um, temples across the cheekbones and also under the lower jaw after blending all that through I then go onto my brows and I'm using the Maybelline Master Shape brow in dark brown I've only just started using this pencil but I really like it and it's only like £2.99 so it's perfect it's really really good and then I'm just combing them through because they've got a little spoolie on the other end which is so helpful and I'm just going to comb that through and fill in any gaps. I'm not particularly shaping my brows as such, I'm just filling in any gaps and making them look nice and full. And then I keep combing them through to make sure it looks really natural. I'm going to set the other areas of my face, so down the bridge of my nose, my chin, my forehead and under my contour using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Transparent. And then I'm just going over with that brow powder that we used on our eyes, just through the brows, just to fill them in a little bit more. I'm then going to use the um, Clear Brow Gel by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This one is definitely one of my favourite brow gels. It doesn't make your brows go really hard, but it just keeps them looking fluffy. So I'm going to clean up that baking that we did underneath our eyes, but I actually like to leave just a little bit, just right under the eyes until I've completely finished my skin. So as you'll see, there's a little bit of powder still sitting under my eyes. And I'm just going to highlight using my Merry Luminizer by The Balm, and I'm going to apply a little bit on the tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow and cheekbones, all the usual areas. And then I'm going to finish off my skin using Orgasm Blusher by NARS. I'm just applying a little bit of this colour just to the apples of my cheeks. So I want it to be a little bit warmer so I'm using the small blusher brush from Chanel and I'm using the exact same bronzer again and applying that over the areas that we last applied it. So down the cheekbones, across the forehead and under the jaw just for a little bit more of a bronzing complexion. I'm now using Vanilla Pigment by MAC and I'm going to apply this in the inner corners of my eyes and under my brows just to add to that highlight that we previously applied. I then used it just on the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose and also just along my cupid's bow. The lips we're using Hover by MAC and I'm going to just fill this in all over my lips and also overline my lips slightly as well. So here is the final look. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I had so much fun filming it in these surroundings with these views. So if you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. I've cut my thumb. This is what I mean. Skin is not for me. I cut my thumb on my actual ski and it was just bleeding ever. It was awful. <laughs> I did do my best though. So if you did enjoy this video or like the surroundings, please give me a thumbs up. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on all social media, which will be linked in the description box below. And until next time, I'll see you soon.